Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, <laughs> I would like to offer the monthly forecast for the elemental energy of fire for September of 2024. If you're interested as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, there's a video in the description you can check out if you're interested. Um, all of the cards, uh, I Ching, things like that that I use are linked in the description. If you want to go check those out, you're more than welcome to. If you've never had your charts done, don't know your spiritual alignment or your energetic alignment, you can check out, there's a natal chart that Llewellyn makes. Um, and it's a really good product. It's one I use personally <laughs> and I talk about it a lot, uh, but it gives you your basic chart with all the little houses and symbols, but then it's a 10 to 20 page detailed report um, and it's a natal chart. So this is basically the foundation of who you are as a person and as a soul. Uh, it gives you elements. It gives you all of your generational, like your generation, this is what it means. This is who's in it, things like that. It's a really, really awesome tool to have if you've never had your charts done. So, and even if you had, it might give you a different perspective too. So there's that. Um, other than that, we'll get hop right in here. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions. As long as we're respectful, that's all we can really ask for, right? So we'll start off for fire, which covers Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And I'm in the middle of fire season in central Idaho. So <laughs> if I'm a little bit more congested than normal, there's a reason allergy season has apparently struck again um, but anyway your hexagram and I cast this before the video for fire is this guy here and it is integrity and the unexpected so this could be a very interesting uh, month for fire it says integrity sublime success righteous persistence brings reward those opposed to righteousness meet with injury it is not favorable to have in view any goal or destination. So I'm all about setting big term goal, long term goals, big goals, setting up those vision boards. This month for fire, this is not so much about I'm forcing something. You can have that goal, but make sure that it's uh, nebulous. Don't lock it in too tight this month. Uh, just from the base text of the hexagram. This is going to be a one where it's persistence, slow and steady, but it's not going to be something where you, I have to complete by the end of September, fill in the blank part of my project. It's not going to work that way this month. It's going to happen. What's, what's going to be allowed to happen is going to happen. And if it's not supposed to happen, trust me, it's not going to happen. So don't force things this month. Um, your foundational line down here is, Moving onward with integrity brings good fortune. So integrity, and this is a way that I've come to understand it, is doing the right thing even when no one's watching. So when you move onward with integrity, it's bringing good fortune. Let your yes be yes, your no be no. Make your choices as you go through this month ethical, moral, and if they violate any part of your soul, there's a problem. And you can always go back to the Wick and Read and harm me none, do what you will. That's really what they're talking about. When you do something that is not with integrity, you're actually hurting either yourself or another person. So really, as you're going through this month, are my actions uplifting? Are my actions neutral or positive? If, they, if your action comes back as a negative with no net positive outcome, you might want to rethink that aspect. So your second line, do not calculate the size of the harvest while the plowing is still in progress, nor gloat over the third year's crop while planting virgin ground. It is favorable to seek some object or destination. If you're starting off a project, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Or as they say, don't calculate the harvest while plowing the soil. Don't gloat over your future crops when you're still breaking ground. This is a time of nebulous. I have a plan. It's out there a ways. I'm going to take the next step. We'll get there. We'll get down the road to that bigger plan. But right now, I'm just going to do what is put in front of me. And we're going to move forward with that. But I'm going to move forward. This is something you can say to yourself. 
with integrity and quiet pride. I'm not going to be loud. I'm not going to be boastful. Every small success is still a success. It doesn't have to be huge at this point. And it doesn't have to be, well, one day I'm going to, eh, one day is down the future. What did you do today? That's what's going to be important this month. So your third place line, this last broken one, unexpected calamity. Someone ropes an ox and leads it off to gain the passerby, but a loss to the farmer who owns it. Things may not always go the way you anticipate this month. Uh, there's going to be things that are going to be the unexpected, obviously, but there's going to be a bl something that comes in that blindsides you, where you're trucking along, you're doing the things, you got it, you got this, everything's all right, and then, bam, it's there's going to be, and it's not saying it's going to be big, and they're saying middle of the month, so <laughs> pay attention there, um, but it's going to be something that's just like, where did this come from? And it's being a, it's putting, it's being put forward as a test to see how stable you are with letting that goal be nebulous and mobile. Are you holding too tight to it? Because this is what's going to happen if you're, this is the goal, this is the only goal, I have to hold on to this one piece of it. That's not the month for that fire. This is the month to kind of let things just happen. And the unexpected calamity, what I'm hearing is, if you're so focused on and heading towards planning out six moves ahead, this is where things are going to have a hiccup. So try to stick with just the very next thing, not the next six things. Your uh, fourth place line, something can be accomplished by righteous persistence, no error. So again, you're doing, you're doing the work, but you're not forward planning six steps. You're planning the next step. When you've complete that step, you move on to the next step. But you're not worried when you're on step three of what step seven is. Step seven will be step seven when you get there. You're working from step three to step four, and that's where your attention needs to be. Righteous persistence does not always mean fast moving. Sometimes it's that slow and steady, the plotting. You're working on the details, making sure that this part is tied up so it won't come back to kick me in the rear end later. <laughs> uh, your fifth place line, unexpected illness, but will not. but it will be best not to treat it. And this is where you get into the, the little note here is says uh, what basically is going forward. Don't apply untried methods. It doesn't mean a physical illness. What it's saying is this is not a time to be experimental. If you're working on a project, let's say you're starting a business, you do the next step in the next logical order or according to a plan that you're following. Don't be too... I'm going to be a rebel this month and I'm going to do it my way. That's where the things are going to go off the rails. So kind of kind of work within the affirmed uh, pattern, so to speak, this month. It's not always the case for fire. Fire likes to jump around a lot, but f overall we're looking broad's picture here at the month. This is not a time to go coloring outside the lines. So our capstone here. If it is unexpected, a journey now would be injurious. This is a time favorable for those with no destination in view. If you were spontaneously wanting to take a trip, not the best decision this month. If you already had the trip planned, then it's the obvious next step, not a big deal. But definitely be paying attention as you go through this month. This is not a month of spontaneity for the fire family. This is a month of slow and steady, staying focused on just the next step, not five down the road, and be open to new ideas or possibly new ways of doing things that are still within the bounds of what is standard for what you're working on. If you're doing a business and you're just starting out, your big things are getting a business name, getting a tax ID, but you're doing them in the proper order. You're not just going to go out and do it all in one day. Go through the process, let it happen, and if you already have a business and you're looking to expand, what ways have worked for others? You don't have to be a rebel this month. What ways have worked for others? And go with one of those. Find one of the ways that it's already been done and use that as your projection going forward. So we are now going to hop over to our tarot and oracle card readings. And I read week to week. There's approximately 
four weeks plus two days in September. We'll go ahead and just read five week window. Uh, I read a guide or guardian for the week, which is either an energy that's coming in to help you understand, guide you through the week, or a guardian that is coming through to protect you from anything you might might be unexpected <laughs> and then you also i also look at a message from source which is a positive affirmation encouragement or some kind of uh, support for you and then we look at a lesson or a challenge from the tarot a lesson is something to work on uh, the, through that week a challenge could be that unknown element that pops up its nasty little head there um, one of the decks that i'm using which is the dragon path oracle i am not fully connected with all of the cards so if the cards just not talking i'll dig out the little book and we'll go through that because um, that does happen on occasion with different decks but to start with for your first week of september for fire of 2024 we have the guardian dragon or orbron which is number 14 and this is one of those ones that i'm not super familiar with i have intuitively i'm going with change and um, fiery energy a little bit of lightning strikes going on here uh, this is the color of the card but let's take a peek at what the book says if i can get it upright that would always be helpful do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. so number 14 orberon there we are uh, if orberon turns up it's a time to reassure you you can achieve what is required you may have to dig deep within yourself and do this for the long haul, but you can and will succeed. It is con this connection is firmly into the gr is the, the connection is firmly grounded and connects you to your base root chakra. This dragon relates to everything that makes up our physical lives and the world we create for ourselves. So he is really stepping up and saying, <laughs> "This is not a time for spontaneity, obviously." But he's really wanting to emphasize uh, this pattern of stay grounded, do the right thing. This is not a time to rush. The long term is where we're headed, but uh, the long term goals are flexible. So this taps, taps into what the I Ching was saying as well. As you go through this first week of September, it's just a reminder to not rush things. There is going to be a bit of energy I'm hearing that is saying, almost like you're anxious like you just need to get it done breathe through that this is not the time to make rash decisions uh, your message from source is to face your fears releasing the power of fear this goes into that don't make rash decisions fear of missing out is a fire thing it is very much about fire especially if you're aries because you want to get it done you want to get going because there's something new there's something better i gotta 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 not this month this is a month of you have long-term goals, you have long-term plans. Allow God, source, the divine, Lord and Lady, however that manifests for you, to show you the magic, the beauty of taking your time to work through these. I talk about using fire because it tends to be very volatile and very fast moving like it is up north right now. <laughs> um, well, pretty much all over the state of Idaho at this point, it's north, south, east, west. But if you bank a fire, and you have it under control. You can heat your home, you can feed yourself. Fire is a very powerful tool, but when it's left unchecked or if it's left to run, bad things happen. That's the reason they're saying this month, just take it slow, next steps, not speeding ahead. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the 10 of pentacles. You've come a long ways, fire. You've there's some, some of you out there have been working on goals for a long time you are so close to the end of this particular pattern you have another one that's available you may be working on several at one time which is pretty common for fire but you're so close to the end of some big ones enjoy the process enjoy the ride this month it's not about rushing to the end they're really wanting to say this is a lesson and with that lesson it could be the end of something that you're using to establish a financial future for yourself in this first week so if you have worked on building a savings or you're working on something on those lines enjoy the rewards of that is done that is one less thing i have to dump money into because it's established and now it's going to start generating or however it manifests but definitely just take this week 
Remember, it's not about the rush. You've been working towards these goals for a while. A little bit longer is not going to be a problem. Your second week's guide or guardian, where did I put that? There it is, is Asclepius Dragon, which is number 27. Um, Asclepius is not one I'm familiar with. So, <laughs> and most of the time dragons will talk, but this deck, like I said, gets a little bit touchy sometimes when I try to push it. So, we'll go with the books. Um, the Asclepius Dragon was the ancient was part of the ancient Greek gods of medicine. The son of Apollo, upon meeting him for the first time, his opening words were, "Your modern image of the Catechus is incorrect." This is someone who met uh, Asclepius for the first time. As he was a healer of great repute in Greek mythology, and is the dragon, and in the dragon form reminds us that inside us is healing. This particular affinity lies within the practitioners who use healing plants, which is herbalism, homeopathy, essential oils, flower essences, etc. And to this, his rather shamanic energy, as affinity with snakes, and is therefore a powerful ally. If you work with plant medicine especially this week uh, this is a time to really tap into that and you can use like shaman spirit medicine it's not just about using like homeopathy and holistic but what you're working with and he's guiding you this week if you're feeling really anxious and you're just pushing ahead for no reason that's something that he can help you heal through the plant aspect is and I don't offer medical advice here so that's not the point it's not just about maybe having chamomile tea to help calm down what is it in your diet that might be triggering um, that type of feeling? Is it something like too many processed foods? Is it too much artificial stuff? Maybe take it to a more natural state in the second week. Asclepius is all about you being the best version of you, the healthiest version of you. So work with the energy this week of maybe it's a habit that you can change just one thing and adjust that to help grow forward. Again, we're looking long-term this month. It's not going to be magically changing everything in a day, but it's long-term plans, working towards goals, don't rush anything. That's really the vibe that I keep getting for fire this month. Your second week is, message from source, is the dragon with discovering your courage. It takes courage to start a new program. It takes courage. There's a little house in the middle of that dragon. I just noticed that right there. It takes courage to change. It also takes courage to not rush because other people are like, you're almost there. Why don't you just finish this up real quick and get done? That's not going to be the best option this month. This month especially is about taking it slow. And the second week is that courage of looking yourself in the mirror saying, it's okay. We're getting there. Everything's working out great. I'm practicing ethics, I'm practicing morals, I'm using integrity and in every step that I take. These are things that Source wants you to understand as it ha takes courage sometimes to slow down. The urge is the faster I get it done, the faster I get the reward, but that's not always the truth and that's not always the case. What Source is wanting to say is dragon energy is about courage. It's about stepping up to the fear of missing out on something that fear of other people's opinions that fear of well if i don't hurry up i might miss you won't source is saying this month is not about that this month is about slow growth getting that strong foundation and building and the dragons are coming in to say dude we live forever we live for hundreds of thousands of years it takes decades for an egg to hatch take your time it's you're not in a hurry it's fine so your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to have to edit this one a little bit. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles. We're working with some divine feminine energy. And what she's saying is don't get so focused on the money that you forget to live life. This is a kind of a stiff lesson this week. You're working on things to help improve the long term. You're working with Asclepius, working with the healthier the healthier you you're also understanding that sometimes things take time and that's okay and with that don't get so focused on I have to figure out a way to make the millions I have to make a way to be better than the Joneses down the street I have to make more money than Susie Q that sits in the cubicle next to me you don't that's a focus that can actually deter 
your actual goal. Your goal is to build a business. Why are you so worried about that? The business will fund the finances later, but you have to get the foundation strong. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles is saying. Follow your intuition, follow your inner guidance. The money is only a part of prosperity. Prosperity and abundance apply to family, health, friends, relationships, and a home. It's not just about how much money you have in the bank. It's how much you are enjoying and living life. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles is bringing forward at this particular minute uh, for that message. Your third week's guide or guardian is number 29, the Soul Guardian. This kind of a dragon is coming in, offering you protection and guidance at a deep level. This month, is all about slowing down and you know being quiet but the soul guardian is coming in being like it's okay to have the dreams it's okay to have the intuition but he's also wanting to bring forward this message that as a person as an entity as a gift and child of the creator you have every right to exist here the soul guardian is saying protect your energy we will help you don't give to the point where you can't function anymore or focus because that's not going to be beneficial this third week especially they're saying there's a lot of available distractions and I don't know what that means exactly they're uh, they're showing like uh, work extras like your, your day job type thing or uh, technology distractions things that are going to draw you away from what you've been working on it could be someone's like oh come on you don't need to go for that walk tonight don't give up on the, even the little things that you've been trying to get better at. This is the week to really anchor that energy. The soul guardian is coming in saying, you do your part and we will do ours in the spiritual realm to keep everything flowing the right direction. If it's an illness, if it's something unexpected, let us deal with that. Keep your focus, keep your goals, take the next steps. Don't go rushing around this month. Uh, your third week's message from source is opportunity knocks go for it even if there is a hiccup even if there's something that gets in the way the soul guardian working with the energy of uh, opportunity knocks are going to help you pick the right decisions opportunities in a lot of cases can be something so simple as do you want to go to this meeting i just heard about it's kind of like a business thing do you want to go it's a free ticket those are opportunities for improvement it could be an opportunity to try a new art pro project because just like with um, other aspects of the I Ching that we've talked about over a while sometimes it's those unexpected things that can be a huge benefit it doesn't have to be planning every single detail which fire doesn't do anyway but work with the opportunities when they come forward and they will show up but the soul guardian is also saying not every opportunity that's offered is good. So there's going to be a little bit of dynamic of following your intuition and following your instincts, especially this third week. So third week could be a little bit interesting for you, Fire. Um, your lesson or challenge from the tarot, and I'm going to say this is a very strong lesson and reminder, is the magician. You have the tools available to you. You have wisdom. You have had experiences and you have knowledge, which equals wisdom, so that you are in a position to make the right choices this week. The Soul Guardian Dragon can be beneficial. You're also looking at opportunities as they come forward. The Magician is saying, you've already been through a significant portion of this process. So this third week is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but the Magician is tapping you on the shoulder, probably tapping you on the forehead really, saying, you have tools, don't forget them. So, third week could be a little bit of an interesting week for our fire family. Let's take a peek at week number four. We have Merlin the Dragon. This is a continuation off of the Magician, to be honest with you. He is number 21. Merlin is bringing forward wisdom, knowledge, expansion, growth, and just a little bit of magic. This fourth week is coming forward after that third week hopefully decisions were made correctly and it could be something minor you didn't even realize you made a decision on but this fourth week is when you're gonna see the results of taking your time working things out 
building slowly for a future event. Merlin's saying, now that you've done all that, the magic can happen. You've got all the things in place, you've got all the options correctly lined up, and that's going to be different for every single person, so don't think that there's like, this is the only path, because there's not. You definitely want to stick within the bounds of what is the best option in your field. Don't be a rebel. But it's also saying you've done the work. The magic can actually start to manifest coming forward in this uh, fourth week. Your message from source is memories. Cherish the memories of loved ones. As the magic happens, remember where you came from. Remember those who supported you, whether they're still alive or if they've passed over. This is a good contemplative week. You've had the week of decisions and kind of figuring things out. This week is a bit more calm. I mean, this month is not going to be hyperactive for fire, thankfully. It's definitely going to be tapping you on the shoulder a lot, reminding you don't rush things. But with Merlin's magic coming forward, and then you have memories, this is a time to look back to those who went before you, whether it's a bloodline relation, whether it's a spiritual relation, whether it is um, a business leader that you followed forever and remembering the time that that person stepped up to help you or offered you some form of advice. And they're saying that this is something that happened to you that was a one-on-one. -on -one. So however that works for you, but this is a really time to remember the things that you've already learned, remember those who've, who've supported you, and you might just get a little burst of insight into something coming f up in the future that you needed that information for. Um, your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the hanged man. This is the time, fourth week here, where you can start to look things at uh, things from a different perspective. Most of this month has been stay focused, don't be a rebel, don't don't look outside the box, stay with stay within the bounds. This week, your lesson is still saying don't get too aggressive with checking things outside the box, but you can start to examine. Towards the end of the month, they're saying that this is a time to start start your growth outwards. You've built the foundation, you've done the right things, you've taken your time. It's kind of like getting that snowball going. You got to start small before it can get big. This week is saying you have the tools, you have the skills. Now the magic can start to happen. Now it's okay to start looking outside the box, not acting out there yet, but start to examine other options, looking at different things in a different way. You're still not acting, but you're definitely checking things out because now the magic is starting to happen in the fourth week. So we'll do our fifth week, which is kind of a bonus crossover week because it'll fall into some of the October reading, which which is all right. We'll, we'll check that out when it happens. And it is number nine. This is the Courage Dragons. This fifth week of September, partial week of September, is saying don't forget to have the courage. You've built the foundation. This month has been very stable, very supportive, very much about getting your feet underneath you before you leap. Now that you've done that, this fifth week is saying now's the time to have the courage to step forward. You've already had the courage with the dragons earlier, but that was the courage to not worry about what other people think, take your time, do the right thing. And this dragon's still saying, you better be doing the right thing. But now you can start to spread your wings a little bit. Now it's time to start expanding and allowing the creation, the thing you've been working on, to really get the momentum going. You've been slowly moving it. Now it's time to really let it do the motion. And your message from source is children. Know that your children are protected, whether it is your business child, whether it is your physical children. They're also saying this could be a possibility of a pregnancy coming forward, a new kid coming into the picture. The message from source is don't forget that the future is what you're working towards. It's not about the now. The now is important. Don't, I'm not saying it's not because we live here. But you are setting yourself up fire for a powerfully beautiful future. That future could involve your children. It could be children in a metaphorical sense, saying that it's the person you're going to inherit your business to. But it's definitely a growth potential and things that are improving along the way. But don't forget, you're doing this for in the now, which is kind of frustrating at times, I get. But you're also setting yourself up and possibly your descendants, your family, however that works, for a positive future. The children are the hope for the future. And what you're doing this month is setting up the hope for the future. And it's the positive form of hope where it's kind of hope with knowledge. So you already know kind of what's going to happen. So you're definitely working in the right direction by this point. Um, 
your lesson or challenge from the tarot. You've had a lot of pentacles this month. You've had the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and now you've got the Six of Pentacles. And all of your pentacles have been female. So pay attention to divine feminine energy worth your finances, um, especially this month. The Six of Pentacles is definitely given the vibes of just because things are starting to go the right direction doesn't mean you get the right to be lazy. You still have work to do. And like in this picture, she's kind of just end of day, hairs down, clothes are all disarrayed, flower pot got tipped over. She just doesn't care. Don't let lethargy and apathy infect what you've been doing. It's been a slow month. That's not always a bad thing. But by the end of the month, this fifth week, things are going to start picking up for Fire Family. This end of the month is saying, you've done all the work. The magic is starting to ex to reveal itself. It's starting to kick over into that manifestation process. But that doesn't mean that you get to just sit on the sidelines and stay as quiet. It's a quiet month, but that doesn't mean it's time to stop. Because as the end of the month occurs, things are going to pick up for our Fire Family. So... Um, hopefully these messages resonate for you if let me know in the comments down below um, I will you guys <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video um, we've got on Mondays if you're whenever you watch this I do a couple of different live streams and then I drop random videos through the month so if you're new you can always check all those out and with that I will talk to you guys later